Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to condense a big toiletry bag into a smaller toiletry bag so that you can bring it on the airplane and still have everything that you need. There are some creative um, products that I found that can help make that happen. So I found some really creative products that can help make that happen. So to bring your toiletries on the airplane, everything needs to be 3.4 ounces or less, and you need to be able to fit it in a quart plastic container. You want to make sure that when you go to the airport and you're going through security that you have your bag easily accessible so you don't have to be digging through your bag if you have to if you are going to bring your bag and check it on. So you want to make sure that it's easily accessible, that it's in a quart bag and everything is in there. If you have TSA pre-check, which is a really great deal, you will be able to go through security without taking your liquids out. So that's a really good thing. So some people are are concerned about, well, if they have a big jar, but there's only a little bit of uh, lotion in there, that still doesn't matter because the jar needs to be 3.4 ounces or less. The exemptions to that would be uh, baby food, you know, things that you're going to feed your, your child and medications. But if you're going to bring medications, you really want to make sure that they're kept in the original container. Now, you always want to bring your medications with you on the plane. Um, but if they're liquid and if they're bigger than 3.4 ounces, you want to make sure that you take those out separately and that they're in the prescription bottle because that would be very helpful. <laughs> Another exemption is if you are on an inbound flight from international and you had a layover and you bought some duty-free products such as, you know, alcohol or vanilla or anything that's in a bigger container than 3.4 ounces, you can bring that on the plane. But the caveat is it needs to be in a special plastic bag that is tamper resistant proof. So um, it needs to stay in that bag um, on the plane until you get off at home. So that's really important. And when you buy it, they, they put them in that tamper resistant bag with a notice that you cannot open that bag until you get home. So I'm going to show you um, what I've done with my toiletry bag and my makeup bag. So if you bring powdered makeup that's powdered, you can bring that on board. If you bring solid products, you can bring that on board too. Solid in terms of like a lipstick is solid. Um, if you use an eye pencil, that's solid. So I will show you what I did, what I came up with and see if those are interesting, if that's helpful to you and then let me know. Okay, so we're going to try to see if we can use this small little bag to put my liquids in and just put everything else that I want in here so I could just pack it into my suitcase and carry it on. Now, if I had TSA pre-check, of course, I would not have to take my liquids out of the bag. I would keep them in the bag. And I have used this because everything in here is uh, under 3.4 or under. So that always works. So let's see what we can do. First off, there's no way that you could bring a regular sized sunscreen onto the airplane, but we need to wear sunscreen, especially with the summer coming up. Um, and as I've explained already, that this is pretty liquidy and a lot of um, sunscreen is aerosol, but if you have something like this, that is hard, this you can bring on and this is, does not count as liquids. So we're gonna put this off to the side because we're gonna put this in our bag. Um, now I have in here, I have body wash right here, shampoo and conditioner, all liquid. So I'm not gonna give up my body wash, but if you brought a bar soap, you would not need to count that as uh, liquid. So I'm going to put this next to the Mineral Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Body Stick. 
and I'm going to put the body wash over here. Now we have shampoo and conditioner. Now I found these little shampoo and conditioners and their bars. And I was very skeptical about this because, you know, I'm a creature of habit, unfortunately, but I used these and they worked great and they smelled really good. I went on to Amazon and I found there are so many different bar shampoos and conditioners and they worked great. So I'm going to bring these as well because these are no longer liquid. So I will put that over there. Oh, and with these, what I did is I just put, when I was done, I put them back in this case. The case has a little hole in it, so they dried nice and easy, so you don't have to have a big, bulky plastic case. So then these, off to the side. We're not going to need those anymore. So let's see. What other thing here? We have my eyeglass cleaners. I'm going to pop that in here. We have some eye drops, even though, sorry, it's all a mess, but I'm going to put those in there. Um, so we have hand sanitizer. And now you can bring hand sanitizer on the plane, but there are other options. So like with these hand sanitizer wipes, which would not count as liquid. So if we were going to do that, we'll put this in and we will not bring this. Now, TSA, for the time being, says you can bring up to a 12-ounce hand sanitizer with your luggage on the plane um, until further notice, but you need to make sure that that hand sanitizer goes into a separate bin so it can get screened separately. And I like to have my essential oils in case I get motion sickness. So I have peppermint and I have Digest Zen. And then I have these little tablets tablets. So I'm going to bring the tablets and not this liquid. That way I'll only have the peppermint. I'll put that over here and I will pop the liquid in here. So let's go into here. I have toothpaste. Well, look what I found. I found toothpaste tabs <laughs> and I use them and they are just fine. You just put a tab in your mouth, start chewing, and then you brush your teeth and they worked really great. So no longer do you need to bring this toothpaste. So those go over there and this goes over here. So we have deodorant and this also is hard and this does not count as liquids because it is a hard stick. So that can stay in here. And then I have this retainer cleaner, which I have to bring, and that's what I would need to bring. So uh, that goes in here. Then I have my face creams, and I'm going to bring those. So those are going to pop in here. And I always bring olive oil with me. Not only do I use it on my face, but if anything should happen, if I get hurt, if I got sunburned, anything, if you have really good olive oil, it's magic, so I bring it everywhere I go. And here is another face serum that I use that I'm going to make sure I bring. I don't need that body lotion because I have this very small body butter that I have in here. It's not full, but it works really great, and I'm bringing this with me when I travel. And this is, you can smear this, so this needs to go in here. So we're doing pretty well so far because I've gone, so I have hair products, small little hair products, and I have face wash. And the rest, and we'll talk about the lipstick in a minute. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> let's see what we can do. My hair stuff and my face wash. And I think you can put it in a big, a little bit bigger, because I think this is a small quart. But let's see, either way. Zip this baby up. It's tight. But I did it, look. 
And, you know, you don't have to bring two face lotions, one for the day, one for the night. But at my age, you know, I want to continue my skincare routine when I travel. So here we go. Then I can put all of this fun stuff, the shampoo and conditioner, the sunscreen, the tooth face tabs, the, the digest zen tabs you can go in here. The hand sanitizing wipes and the body soap, which you probably would want to get a little case, but this does not count as liquids. The other thing that I have as well is this sunscreen, powdered sunscreen for your face. So I'll make sure I bring that when I travel. And that's not, does not include, is not included as liquids. So there we have it. And then this becomes, you don't even need to use this, but, you know, I love it because I can always put all the stuff back in here when I'm in my hotel. Now let's talk about makeup. I don't use cream makeup, so I don't have to worry about that. And almost all of my makeup is either a powder, which you can bring, these powders. Lipstick is... A hard so this does not count as liquids the only thing in my makeup bag that counts as liquid is let me find it I know it's here is my concealer because it is liquidy but all of my other makeup I have the pencils and lipstick I always like to bring um, a fun color in case I want to get dressed up, but then I usually have a, an everyday lipstick. I'll have a fun color lipstick. And then, of course, I have to have my chapstick. So, as long as it's a hard powder or um, a hard, um, you know, gel like, like your lipstick, those are fine to bring. So what I would do when I when I'm going to travel, I will pare down what I bring. And I probably won't bring eyeshadow like that because I love these things. They work so great. No fuss, no muss. And so the only thing that I would need to put in here is this. And if I had lip gloss, it would go in here as well. And in other countries, when you're traveling internationally, um, you may or may not have different rules, so you would just need to pay attention. But this is the way that you can put your liquids and bring everything that you want, being creative and bringing it on the airplane. Well, I hope you thought this video was helpful and interesting. And let me know what you think. Would you ever use bar soap, bar shampoo and conditioner, um, let me know. It really worked. And uh, so it was fun to find out and it was fun to play with them. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'd love to grow this community and have a great day. Ciao for now. Bye.